for us, for the MGA, 2018 was a, a huge success story from that aspect. Why? Because all the, the companies or individuals mentioned in the, in the Italian investigations were related to either companies which were already uh, suspended or uh, cancelled by the MGA a year or two years before, or as individuals which were already taken out of the taken out of the um, of the gaming ecosystem from the MGA, so they were no longer approved by the MGA. Just to give you an idea, last year alone, we uh, we cancelled eight licenses, so companies who were no longer allowed to do business to conduct business uh, with the MGA license, and we've blocked over 70 individuals from either entering the, the gaming industry or else through ongoing monitoring. So we are very active on that uh, on that front. Uh, in terms of uh, Italy as well, we are uh, we are working very close with uh, with Italy. We, we know that in the past um, there were issues, but these issues were, I would say, three to four years ago. So from that onwards, we uh, we stepped up a lot. When we look at what we do, at what we call the onboarding, the amount of checks we do on the on the individuals is, is something which uh, it's impressive, and the amount of money we spend. We have even international partners who help us with the assessment of the individuals. It's something which is, uh, which is very laborious, but we invest a lot in it. As you might be aware, Malt introduced even the Fort AMLD. If you look at the Fort Anti Monitoring Directive, it was introduced in uh, 2018, so January 2018. From, from our end, as the MGA, we already conducted in 2018 alone, we conducted 33 on site inspections, so we literally go to the company, we, we, we interview the MLRO, we, uh, we get a, a database extraction and we look at the, at the numbers, at the customers, we ask for specific documents to make sure that that particular operator is collecting the information it needs to have on that particular uh, player. We make sure that they are checking what we call the source of wealth and the source of funds to ensure that that player actually has the money uh, to play, to play, to play with them. So uh, we've done a lot. There are even 40 now. There are 40 uh, inspections lined up for 2019, um, which uh, which already started. Even last year, uh, we set up our AML unit. It's composed of eight individuals, going up to 10 this year. So we are we are very active on that front. For example, we included uh, the power to conduct mystery shopping. Uh, it could be seen as something small, but in reality it's something big. Why? Because with the previous law, whenever we wanted to conduct an investigation uh, or a check on a particular operator, we had to log in with the account and details provided by that operator. Now we have the power at law to conduct what we call mystery shopping. So now we can go into the website of the operator without the operator knowing, without the licensee knowing that uh, it's actually the regulator looking at, uh, at the way you are operating. Um, uh, what are their powers? One of the most important ones is what we call uh, the key functions one. Why? Because in the previous law we had what we called the key official. So we had this one person, a single person who was sort of uh, the main contact between the licensee and the regulator. Now what happened? We realized throughout the years that this key official was, uh, was ending up being sort of de facto autumn. So the guy who knows everything about the company. We realized that it, was, it, it wasn't working. Now we moved what we're calling approval of key functions. So now instead of approving the key official, we're approving at least 12. So we need to know exactly who the, the, the key finance is, key compliance, key legal, the MLRO, the DPO, and we are conducting criminal probity checks and due diligence, due diligence checks on all these individuals. It is a laborious process for the, for the regulator, but we believe that even the way this industry is maturing, now it deserves to be, to be even, even properly regulated. And when it comes to uh, a maturing industry, the regulators need to make sure that they are stepping up and const constantly evolving to make sure that they are regulating the industry in a proper way.